Welcome to the channel. It's about that time again. As you can see, we have the good old light meter out and some of the brightness testing stuff. And we are going to test the screen brightness of the Razer Edge and the new Odin 2 Mini. And we will add those results to the ever-growing list of handhelds. And we will see if either of these two are the brightest and how they relate to the other handhelds that we've tested so far. If you're interested in the test methodology, I talk about that in the very first brightness test video, which I'm not going to go through all that again, but I will link that video in the description so you can see, hey, how is he doing this? And, you know, how do I interpret these results? But let's get right to it. This is the Razer Edge, handheld powered by a Snapdragon G3X Generation 1 processor, which works pretty well for retro games and has a nice bright OLED screen. Our test result was I got 415 lux for this, which puts this in the top part of my list of handhelds for brightness. So. 415 lux for the Razer Edge. This is the Odin 2 Mini, a hand, another handheld powered by a Snapdragon processor. This is a Snapdragon 8 Generation 2. And the interesting thing about this handheld is it's the first handheld that I've tested that actually has a mini LED screen. And the key with this is it has a bright a backlight that unlike a traditional LCD screen, the backlight can be partially turned on and turned off. So there's a bunch of white LEDs behind here that comprise the backlight. And one of the things about many LED screens is that they tend to be able to get really bright. And in my testing, this right now, provisionally anyway, is the new Brightness King at 550 lux. So if you turn this up, it's only about 25% brightness right now. If you turn this up, you definitely should be able to take it outside with no problem. The Odin 2 Mini has a really bright screen. So let's look at our results for not only these two handhelds, but the 16 or so that I've tested so far. When you use the PlayStation Portable as a reference, you notice that most everything in the modern, in modern times is brighter than the PlayStation Portable. But one thing you notice is certain modern handhelds, the Mini, the Deck OLED, the Razer Edge, and to some extent the uh, Ambernick RG556 are all significantly brighter than the others. I would not read too much into small differences between these numbers just because the amount of error inherent in this test with the way I'm doing it, I would not pay any attention to small differences between like 242 and 240 or possibly even you know, a difference of up to like 10, I don't, it's probably not all that meaningful. But you can see that there are kind of the middle of the road handhelds around here. And then we have kind of the upper echelon of brightness, which are mostly OLED screens. And then the Odin 2 Mini with its mini LED screen. And notice that they're all way brighter than the PlayStation Portable. I remember one of the things about getting custom firmware on a PlayStation Portable was not only, of course, the aspects of being able to load whatever you want to onto the memory stick, but also the PSP had three brightness settings. And Sony, to save battery so they could claim the uh, PSP had a higher battery life, they restricted the brightness settings when you were on battery. So you could not use the brightest setting while you had it on battery. One of the things that custom firmware did was it actually unlocked the highest brighting set, brightness setting when you were on battery. And I remember that being almost as good as any other aspect of custom firmware back in the day. So 
it's interesting to see how as you get more modern systems there the screens are actually many times brighter than what you got out of the stuff back in the age of the Nintendo DS. Now the DS Lite was brighter than the DS IXL, but still, those were quite dim compared to the modern handhelds. Now, of course, referencing anything to the PlayStation Portable means that all the numbers are huge. <coughs> so what I did was I made a percentage chart that's based on the Odin 2, which is kind of middle of the pack here in terms of in terms of the modern handhelds so I figured it was a good reference and you can see using the Odin 2 as reference see how much dimmer the old handhelds are that is a kind of a notable one that's really pretty dim is the RG28XX I don't have a MIUI A30 which is even dimmer than that but in terms of modern handhelds the RG28XX is a lot more reminiscent of the handhelds from, you know, 10, 20 years ago. So something to consider if you're getting the RG28XX. But the new handhelds, the Odin 2 Mini is currently the brightest device I have in terms of screen brightness. Now I will say this, the deck OLED supposedly can get brighter for HDR content. This was not tested with HDR content. This is just this is just standard. So the o, the Steam Deck OLED may still be the crown for content where HDR is enabled, but the Odin 2 Mini edges it out, which is kind of not surprising because the whole point of Mini LED, other than getting better contrast, is the screens are easy to make to have really high brightness because of the way that the backlight works. So the Odin 2 Mini coming in pretty high on our list of handhelds is no big surprise. Now the Razer Edge, of course, puts in a nice respectful showing here. It is a little below the Steam Deck OLED. And again, I did not do anything with HDR for the Razer Edge. So just a standard test of looking at a white image in a browser window. So, you know, there will be some variation of these results if you use other parameters, but you can tell that the Razer Edge has a pretty bright screen. You'll be happy with it if you are looking for something that is pretty bright. Now, <coughs> the, uh, the others, you'll notice that most of the current, you might say, retro handhelds kind of fall within the same range. So, One's not a whole lot brighter than the other until you start getting to the OLEDs and, of course, the Odin 2 Mini. So I hope this has been a useful bit of knowledge here. Now, of course, I don't have perfect measurements because I have a cheapo light meter here and not something fancy meant for photography because, well, to be frank, if I buy the light meter, I can't get the handhelds. So... You know, that's why I test all these relative to each other and I test them in the same way so that at least these results are comparable among the handhelds in the table. And I just put this up, these up here because it's really hard to see relative brightness when you're just looking at somebody's picture on a screen on a video on YouTube or a screenshot you might see on Reddit or whatever. So this is a little bit of semi-quantitative data here for you guys to chew on. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you uh, like this video, remember to give it a like. If you want to see more gaming and handheld-related content, subscribe to the Chemical Burrito YouTube channel. And hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time.